just first off, just how exciting is it, you know, have an opportunity to go to nationals? It is very, very exciting. Um, this is my first time going to nationals, so I'm pumped to go. You know, where do you, like, you've really just kind of been on a tear these last couple of weeks, these last couple of weeks. Meets, what's just really been working for you in the steeplechase? Um, I guess just consistently putting the work in over the weeks, over practices, and then everything just came together. It's a very competitive field, so it's a good race. Uh, what uh, you know, looking at your race in the West prelims, how do you beat your PR by 25 seconds? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, but um, my coach and I kind of saw it coming because the workouts were um, going well in practice, and then finally having other people to compete with definitely helped, and um, we tapered very well. So. Everything came together. When you get to this point in the season, is it kind of hard to physically relax to get ready for the next race? Or are you trying to think about what to do better? Or what's your, your mindset going into the championship? Yeah, I feel like since we've been tapering for like regionals and like nationals, it's um, it's been like not easy, but it's been easier um, since it was the focus from the beginning. So now just being mentally prepared and getting ready for um, prelims and then hopefully making making it to finals. What's the greatest challenge that the steeplechase presents for you? Um, I would say finishing the race and just getting over all the hurdles. Um, especially the water jump, I still have to do a lot of work with the water jump. Um, but yeah, just getting to the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've accomplished so much in your A-State career, I mean, where do you feel like you've really improved on to like the moment you stepped on campus until now? Um, I would definitely say my mental strength. Not only like obviously my physical strength and like my athletic performances, but also working on my mental capabilities and like making sure I can like do all these workouts and like compete the way I'm competing today. What do you do to mentally get ready for a race? Do you have like a pre-race routine? Um, yeah, kind of. Um, I like to read like a lot of books, but that's like doing practice and everything. Um, and then before races, obviously having like a specific diet, like eating the right things. And then before I go to the track and get ready, I like have like a little note on my phone where I like write down everything I'm grateful for. and like a little phrase for each individual race um, that's like specifically for the race and that helps me to get through it. I know this was the goal for you at the start of the season. What does it mean to, to, to get to nationals once again? Um, it's actually my first time making outdoor nationals. I've made indoor three times. So i um, super, super excited. Um, I feel like everything's finally coming together. No, just for you in the, in, in the attack, just kind of describe just the mental and physical endurance it takes just to go through the heptathlon every single time. Yeah, so um, obviously it's a two day event. Um, so there's seven events in it. So seven times you have to step on the line and you know, um, every time you have to mentally prepare, be ready. Um, and it's, it's really stressful. One event goes bad, you have to pick yourself up for the next one. So it's, it's, it's a difficult event, but I love it. <laughs> what was it, how exciting is it? What was it like, you know, putting it all together there in the conference meet there for you? Um, it was amazing. It was my first time winning in the heptathlon as well at that conference. So um, it was great. I just missed my PB. So and I was, you know, I had so many injuries this year. So it's really exciting um, to be able to score so high with, you know, a really disruptive prep. Do you ever look at what the uh, competition your competition has scored, or or do you just focus on do, you know what you do? You know, I, I try to focus on just what I do, but, you know, it is difficult with other girls, you know, scoring really highly. And everyone has the events that they're really good at, and, you know, I have my events that I'm not the best at. Um, so it is it's difficult to separate yourself from what other people are doing, but, you know, there are so many events, and there is events that you're going to be better than other people, and events that people are going to be better than you, so you just got to stay in your own lane. First off, just, you know, how excited are you for this opportunity to go compete in nationals? I'm pretty excited. I mean, last year, after getting 13th place at the region, I'm um, just happy to be in it this time and have another opportunity to compete, and it should be fun.
sounded like maybe there were some challenges with getting used to the pole vault in Sacramento. How did you kind of manage to, to battle through that and mm. finish where you needed to? Yeah, there was some wind and it was starting to get cold later on in the event and I cleared a bar like on my third attempt, like three of the bars I made, so it was a little nerve wracking clearing on third attempt almost every bar, but I got it done in the end, so it doesn't matter too much. How much focus does that take when you know it's your last attempt at a bar, you know, to, to hit it like you want to? Uh, yeah, it basically starts with totally clearing your mind and just trying to think back to what you know and relaxing. It is a little scary, but you, know, you get over it. You know, A-State's had quite the legacy in the pole vault. What does it mean to kind of make your mark in this event? Oh yeah, I mean, just from Earl Bell at the world record and then Michael Carr beating it, and now I'm on that list too. Number three right now is pretty cool, and I hope to get past their barriers too. That'd be awesome. What do you work on this week ahead of going to the championship? Hmm. I try not to change too much because so far, like in the past couple weeks, I've been doing pretty good, so just to continue what I'm doing and hope it plays out okay. What did it mean to you to get over that 18 foot barrier? You know? Oh yeah, I mean, I think we counted up the misses. It was like over 30 total misses at 18 feet, like over the past year. So to get to get it was pretty pretty special. And now that I got over it once, it seems like it was just a mental barrier. And now I could do it. Like it's not too hard. So it's cool. First off, I know this was the goal from the beginning of the season. You know how exciting is it? What does it mean to you to get to nationals? So it was extremely exciting because last couple of years I was very close to make it to nationals, and finally this year I, I get to go there and represent the university. You know what's maybe been the biggest difference? Where, where do you feel like you've really improved on the most this season? So I think I've improved mostly my technique. I've been working really hard during the off season uh, on my technique, and it's been showing really well here. In, in the outdoor season. One of the things Coach Patchell mentioned was just your consistency. So every time you get in there, you, you know, he knows you're going from 67 to 68. What's, what's helped you be that consistent? So as, as I improved my technique, I was able to get my range into like 67, 68, very consistent. But I'm, I'm hoping I get to throw even farther at nationals. I would love to break the 70 meter barrier. That would be a dream of mine. Accomplished a whole lot here. What has it just meant to you just to be here for you know for these last couple years and accomplish so much here at A State? So it's been a lot. Of, uh, came from Spain, so there was a, a big change for me uh, academically and uh, athletically. So I've been really, really excited that everything that I've been doing here, practicing and competing for the team. So I'm I'm really happy for that. What are just some of the things you want to work on before you get over to Austin? So I've been training uh, like exactly as the same as I'm going to do at the competition. So I'm going to have three throws and then the top 12, they're going to qualify for another three, I think top 12, the top nine. So I will be in the first flight, so I'll get to throw first and get those three throws and then wait until the second flight is done. So I've been trying to get those first three throws, like get really good throws to be able to, you know, make it to the final. As far as, you know, looking at what the competition does, you know, how much do you, do you study that at all going into a meet, whether the people are thrown, or is it just you versus the... Yeah, it's just yeah, me team. versus yeah myself. You never know what the other people is going to do, so you, you just have to try to do your best and stay consistent.